This method can help answer key questions in the biomedical research field such as biomarker discovery, drug discovery, diagnostics, and screening of drugs or antibodies. The main advantage of this technique is that it is high throughput and can resolve protein isoforms in a highly reproducible manner. The implications of this technique extend towards the diagnosis of many diseases because it can measure affected proteins or their isoforms. Though this method can provide insight into cell signaling pathways, it can also be applied to the other systems where specific proteins need to be analyzed. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as the SS steps are difficult to learn because of the tricks such as removing bubbles, loading the plate, etc. First, prepare a sample diluent mix by adding 1 microliter of DMSO inhibitor mix and 2 microliters of protease inhibitors to 47 microliters of sample diluent so that the final concentration of DMSO and protease inhibitors is 1x. Dilute previously isolated protein lysates using the sample diluent mix to obtain the desired concentrations. Next, add 3.325 microliters of standard ladder, 6 microliters of protease inhibitor, and 3 microliters of DMSO inhibitor to 137.675 microliters of amphalite premix. Vortex the sample at least 15 seconds and keep on ice. Mix the two prepared solutions in a 1 to 3 ratio so that the final concentrations of DMSO protease inhibitors and the isoelectric point standard ladder are 1x and the proteins in the capillary reach the final desired concentrations.